what you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can repair a SATA uh, connector on an actual hard drive here we've got a 3.5 inch hard drive and it's the actual power part that is broke and uh, it doesn't really matter whether it's the SATA part or the power you can see the plastic part that goes around the outer edge is missing that's normally the like the L shaped bit of plastic it'll be this part here which I've managed to salvage which sometimes is quite important it does help a lot to uh, fix this problem and this is where the metal pins will slot around here you can see the bend on it so what I'm going to do is going to try to fix this there's a lot of data on this drive uh, this is a three terabyte drive and there's a lot of data on here it's pretty much a full up and I want to try to rescue the data on here and uh, the way we can do this, you can see the pins here, they have not broken at all. Let me just try to try get a close up here. You might be able to see the pins have slightly bent, but they're all intact. It's important that these pins are all intact, otherwise you're going to have to replace uh, this area around here. You're going to have to take it off of a donor uh, hard drive and replace this part. Now also, if you try to put the connector on, it will sit on here and it will slip onto that area and sometimes you will get a connection the problem you've got is there's a risk of it shorting out because there's nothing to separate the pins and if you end up touching those pins together it could short out and trip the computer and cause a data loss so you've got to be very careful when you do something like that so what we're going to do is we're going to do a bit of a, a fix on this to try and get the data off now you can either you can continue to use the drive afterwards if you want to well, I'm just going to try to get the data off and uh, if it's a good enough fix then we'll go ahead and keep the drive uh, because it should be okay. Now what we're going to use is a connector here which you can get on eBay, you can get uh, bent ones or straight ones and uh, you can pick these up. I think this one's off Amazon actually. And this is a, a SATA 22 pin male to a SATA 22 pin female adapter. Okay, I will put the links in the video description just in case you come across this uh, issue and this is from China and uh, we're going to take a look here this is our connector here you can see we have these new uh, plastic shroud around here I'm not sure if I can get this to focus let me see if I can there we go so here we have the new connector this is the area that has the new connectors on it that's what we're going to be connecting to but first off we need to push this part into the original uh, connector here. So what we're going to do here is try to slip in the broken plastic part and then slip this back over the drive and then uh, glue this onto there so it's fixed. And this will then become our connector. Now you can get the uh, left and elbow type ones. I will put a picture up on the screen. If you want it facing down or facing up, you can still get those uh, for yourselves. Now we will be using a glue gun here and uh, we're going to be using a, a, a typical glue gun which you can get on Amazon as you can see here hot glue gun. So what I need to do here is slot the broken piece, piece of plastic inside here into that area here and this is going to help put, keep the wires in a separated area. If I try to put them in here it's going to be too wide uh, so I want to try to use this here because this is part of the actual connector so what I need to do is push this into here now if you don't have this part you can still try to get away with doing this and there we go and once that's inside there I want to try to slip the copper pins into there and this will only go one way so what I want to do here is try to offer up the pins push this on now we can see it's now on now that is pretty much on there we don't have to worry about that but I don't want to be this coming off I want to keep this on because this is going to be our new connector now you can have the ones that bend up or down it's entirely up to you but what I'm going to do is run a bit of hot glue down here and a bit of hot glue down there temp so it doesn't come off okay and that's what I'm going to do I probably don't need to do it because it's on there I could just use this now to get the data off but if you want to keep this uh, drive and use it uh, you will need to make sure that you do uh, the hot glue method okay 
So let me go ahead and get the hot glue. Just like so. There we go. Now quick, just let that go hard for a bit. I'm just gonna let this uh, set 20 seconds or so and that should uh, set in position and I can do the other side. And this will just stop the uh, drive from uh, moving and coming off. Now do not touch this salt glue, it's super hot. This is a 100 watt um, glue gun and uh, that will be very, very hot. And also what you can do here is just run a bit down the channel down here, which I'm going to do. Here we go. And there'll be a bit of surplus glue there, but that's okay. And I'm going to let this uh, dry, and this one will uh, dry as well. So I'll be back once this is dry, okay? Okay, so the glue is now starting to go white, and this normally means an indication that it's starting to go hard. And uh, once that's uh, cured properly, which is a few, so you can see that's right on there, that's not going to come off. And now we have a nice clean new connector here, which we can connect to. Yeah, okay, granted it's sticking out. Uh, and we didn't have to do this as a permanent fixture, but it's on there. Anyway, the fix is a pretty good fix to get you out of a, a tight spot. And uh, this is going to allow you to pull the data from the drive safely and also give you a nice, clean, fresh uh, connector here for SATA and for power. It doesn't matter which one breaks. You can use this method to uh, recover data from this drive without sending it away to expensive data recovery uh, guys here. And of course, this will just plug into any sort of uh, cable here without shorting uh, and if you don't use anything like this then what's going to happen you've got a risk of shorting those pins across and uh, that will be um, catastrophic for the drive it could uh, lose all the data on the drive but as you can see here now this gives us the ability to plug this into a USB uh, port or we can just plug this straight into a computer and uh, get our data off and plug it in as a normal as you normally would here and, and if this sticks out a little bit too much for you and you're not happy with it, remember we are trying to rescue the data on this drive. It doesn't have to look pretty. We just need to get this uh, up and running and get the data off. You don't have to use the glue if you're temporarily uh, using this method. But if you are going to keep the drive, you will need to uh, do this and uh, use this method to keep the drive. Okay. Anyway, that's pretty much it. That's basically how you can fix a broken uh, power or SATA uh, port on a uh, hard drive here. Uh, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I hope this one helps you out, guys. It's a really useful fix, and it will get you out of uh, a jam if you need to get data off of a drive. Anyway, have a great weekend, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you.